Well, guys, I'm in Lexington, Nebraska. I am currently shut down for weather. Uh, actually, I think technically the the road's closed now, right here at this exit, uh, going from between here and uh, North Platte, which is about 50 miles west of here. I'm actually going eastbound. Uh, I'm on my way to the Costco distribution center in Morris, Illinois. Uh, but I, I stopped here earlier because the the visibility and roads were not good. Uh, I mean, roads were I mean, sticky enough thanks to all the, the great efforts put in to keeping them that way by the Nebraska DOT workers. Uh, I didn't have any problem with slipping at all, but uh, there were several spots along the way here from North Platte where the roads were covered in snow. Uh, you couldn't even see the lanes at all. And yeah, we've I've had 20 or so mile an hour winds to go with it and blowing snow. Uh, yeah, it made for a pretty fun experience coming, just just doing this 50, uh, I don't even, maybe 60 mile drive, whatever whatever it is. Um, yeah, somewhere on that, almost 60 miles. But yeah, I'm gonna be uh, just, Staying here for the for the rest of the day. Hopefully the weather improves later tonight. Um, hopefully they'll plow the road. Yeah, plow the land here so I can actually leave because uh, got a pretty nice uh, pretty nice drift of snow uh, in the lane in front of me, and I'll show you that. But. Yeah, the visibility got down pretty low. Yeah, you're gonna see in this video I, that I've made the uh, just you know what it's like. Um, I don't mind so much the road conditions. I did have to go slower for it as you know as usual, but yeah, you know, it wasn't. It's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, you know, because like I said, the Nebraska DOT workers did a great job of keeping it you know reasonably uh, in good shape considering what it looks like but on the other hand uh, if, when you watch the video you're gonna see quite a few yeah no I'm going eastbound you're gonna see quite a few westbound trucks actually stuck in the median because they went off the road I don't know how uh, maybe the road conditions on their side of the freeway were not as good as they were on my side uh, I wasn't getting any evidence of slipping along the way I think I might have had one little spot where I got a little bit of slip, but uh, most most of the way here it was. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't have any. I had good traction. Yeah, I wasn't. You know, I I, I, run, I do little tests by. Uh, you know, usually running down in like seven, like eighth or seventh gear. I, I within my ten speed manual here, and uh, mash the throttle just to see what kind of response I get. Yeah, uh, if I get slick from my tires, then I know that the road's icy and it's yeah that it's time to keep the speed down. But I wasn't getting any of that at all, so uh, it, it just it looks a lot worse than it really is, I think. But again, I don't know what was going on on the westbound side that caused so many trucks to end up uh, stuck in the median. Uh, and I don't mean there was just a few. There was probably closer to 10 trucks in just about a 15 to 20 mile stretch uh, between here and, uh, well, it's just not that far west of here. But I'm, I, I just decided it's, uh, I'd rather not deal with uh, near whiteout conditions and roads that I can't even, you know, lane where there's spots where I can't even see the lanes. So I just decided to just shut it down here and um, it is what it is. Uh, I was already running about an hour late on my delivery time because of weather problems in uh, Utah and Wyoming prior, uh, prior to this. Uh, when I started my shift yesterday morning, they had chain laws in effect in uh, Parley's Canyon and Parley's, some, uh, Parley's Pass area, whatever in uh, Utah yeah, in between Salt Lake City and the Park City area and it had more chain laws in effect in western Wyoming so I elected to just camp out there in Springfield, uh, Springville, Utah uh, for a few extra hours and wait, uh, wait it out 
I ended up waiting just enough hours to where I got just a little behind on my schedule. But I say I'm just hauling vegetables. I'm not hauling anything that's worth somebody's life, including my own or somebody else on the road with me. I don't think that I, I have any issues here, but I also don't want to be on the road with other people who might not be in such a, might not be so good with this kind of conditions. Uh, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to hop out and run inside to uh, grab a bite to eat, you know, here at the Walmart. But I figured I'd just show you uh, just how much snow there is on the ground here. Get, give you kind of an idea. But it's been kind of a definitely a fun experience, I should say. Even though it's not very productive as far as getting my miles. I got a nice big snow bank right here. Oh, I need to grab my keys first. Kind of hard to lock my truck without that. Find them. There they are. All right. Now this snow drift right next to my truck, just for me to even get out up to my calf. Here's how thick the snow is for it's just in the lane that I have to pull out into when I do leave here. Well some fun times here. Uh so all I have just um it just all if you watch the video, it's uh, accelerated about five times, so uh, you get the full trip from North Platte to here uh, with some music accompaniment. That's about it. I uh, hope you enjoy.
trance. This is a state of trance with Armin van Buren. 